Hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Navarrete versus Valdez 2 is on as Emmanuel Navarrete, the reigning WBO super featherweight champion of the world at 130 pounds, makes the third defense of his title reign when he battles um, former two division champion and current WBO interim champion Oscar Valdez in a rematch, a mandatory fight and a rematch from their August uh, 2023 battle that ended in Navarrete uh, scoring a dominant 12-round unanimous decision there to retain the belt. Uh, this fight takes place on Saturday, December 7th, main eventing a huge double, uh, double main event card on ESPN that's also going to feature Rafael Espinosa and Robesi Ramirez too um, as they battle for the featherweight championship of the world. So um, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. This is a big one right here. I, I'm, I mean, you know, I think a lot of people are probably going to look at the first fight and be like, we got the same thing going on. They could be right. But um, this fight, it's it's a different angle going in. You have not, the first fight, Navarrete going in, was hungry he had gotten up off the canvas after debuting um at 130 against liam wilson to capture the vacant belt got up off the canvas and scored a spectacular ninth round tko you knew this fight was coming well in advance the two sides wanted it all mexican showdown navarrete went out there and threw i think over a thousand punches dominated uh valdez and um retained his belt now navarrete's coming in not winning a fight since he beat Valdez. He's fought twice. He fought Robson Concisao and got not, not got lucky. I mean, it takes skill to score a couple knockdowns like he did over Concisao, but without those knockdowns, he doesn't get the draw and retain his belt last November. Um, and then uh, he took he moved up to lightweight and tried to capture the light with the vacant lightweight title against Dennis Berenchek and got out outworked in that fight and lost um, a decision. So now he's coming back down to 130. The weight was never really an issue. That's why he held on to the belt. So it's not going to, I don't think it's a weight issue, but it's a confidence issue. He hasn't won a fight since he beat Valdez. And, you know, I think Valdez is coming in a little bit more confident and hungry than he did the first time because he went out against that same Liam Wilson and stopped Liam Wilson without a problem in a good action packed fight, but he was controlling the action and winning and he broke him down and stopped him. Um, more impressively than Navarrete did. Didn't get hurt. Of course, Styles makes fights, but I think Valdez coming in this one is more, he knows what to expect now from Navarrete. He's been in there with them already, and he's now um, confident following that victory over Liam Wilson. Um, I don't think he had fully gotten his confidence back following the loss to Shakur Stevenson in 2022. So I think now his confidence is back. He's hungry. He wants the title. And I think the rematch is going to be better than the first one. The first one was solid. There, there was, it was a competitive fight, but Navarrete was just winning almost all the rounds. You know, he just out hustled and outworked Valdez. Is he going to go back to that to beat Valdez throwing over a thousand punches or what kind of style is he going to implore in this one? How is Valdez going to cut off the ring? and set up his his shots. A lot of questions are gonna be answered in this fight. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Saturday, December 7th, main event of ESPN Plus. Um, the WBO 130 pound super, or, yeah, super featherweight titles on the line. Crossroads fight between these two guys. A loss for Navarrete could potentially lead to a third fight with Valdez. Nobody's gonna complain about that. Um, a loss for Valdez and he might you know, that might be the uh, swan song in terms of taking him serious as a serious contender, um, you know, at, at the upper echelon of the division, um, you know, and also for the winner could be unification against the winner of Concisao and uh, Foster, Oshaki Foster, who fight this Saturday, November 2nd. So a lot riding on this fight. Can't wait to see it again. Saturday, December 7th. Navarrete versus Valdez 2 is on for the WBO Super Featherweight Championship of the World. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing, and you've been hit with the truth.